Hello, it's Amy. Are you ready to get an exercise snack for your upper half and core? No equipment needed. You can do it at a hotel room if you're on vacation or on a road trip or anywhere. If you have a bench, you will need something to sit on, okay? And get down on the floor. We won't be doing plank. but f Or you can do plank up against the wall if you need to. You ready to get started? Let's warm up. Okay, let's get the upper half warmed up. Just bring your arms up and down slowly if you've been sitting in a car all day like I have. <laughs> oh, go real slow. My range of motion is getting better. Now arms open out and in. Boy, I don't give you much of a warm up here because it's a snack. <laughs> but if you need a warm up, we're gonna get down next and do plank for 30 seconds. So if you need a little bit more warm up, do not do this. Come on down, you can come down for plank. You can be on your knees or you can just come up on your toes. It's only 30 seconds. Holding that tummy in, keeping that neck in line with your spine, lifting up through your shoulders. You can bring your feet together, squeeze your inner thighs together if you want. Keep going, I can't see my timer. Don't hold your breath. Okay, good job. Now you can stay at plank or you can try a push-up. I have not been doing a push-up, but I'm just going to do a baby one. But you know if you can do one, I'm just going to do a baby push-up. I had my surgery two months ago, but push-ups have still eluded me, okay? I'm just doing baby ones right now. But if you can go down and do your what push-up works for you, you can even be doing these up against the wall if need be, okay? Or you can be staying in a plank. Uh, but that's it. Give me a little rest. We're staying right down here. And we're going to do a tricep push-up next, trying to work the upper body strength-wise without any equipment. We're using our body weight. Um, hands right below your shoulders, bending your elbows. They graze your side and then pushing up with your, the back of your arms or your triceps, okay? You could also do this up against the wall. And you do not have to go very low before you feel those triceps kick in. Good. Keep going. Ooh. One more. There we go. Come on up and sit in a chair or on a bench wherever you can. I'm going to sit at the edge of my chair. We're going to work on the core just a little bit. You're going to lean back and you're just going to give me some alternating knee lifts. Now you can lean back with a flat back all the way back. I want to work on your core. So I'm keeping your back nice and straight and leaning back. You can work on your core. Make sure that your back doesn't try to help though. Give me a little crunch. Good job, keep going. All right, come up, round your back if that hurts, or lean back, both knees up. Much, much, much harder. Good, keep going. Keep that back nice and straight. Keep that tummy tight. If the back starts to work, you've got to stop, because we don't want the back to work. It's trying to help, but we don't want it to. Oh, and now I'm hitting my hip flexors which they needed because we sat, have been sitting a lot. All right, we're gonna try dips. Anywhere you can do to work on the back of the arms, a chair. This might be a little dangerous because this chair has wheels, but you're gonna bring your um, butt down, just bending your elbows and then coming up. The further away you are from the chair, the harder it is. Um, just grazing down, keeping your shoulders away from your ears. Good. Keep going. Work in the back of the arms, but be careful. Be careful. This one can be hard on the wrists. It can be hard on your shoulders. I can totally feel the back of my arms working. You don't need weight sometimes if, you're, if you don't have them. All right. Now we're going to just do an arm burnout. Let's just do small little circles. I'm going to have to turn to the side because I don't have enough room. Just small circles. Keep the shoulders away from your ears. Abs pulled in nice and tight, straight back. Little small circles. Tight. Just make it real tight. Work on the arms without any equipment. Engage those muscles. Tighten them. Deep breath. Don't hold your breath. Keep going. Let's go back the other way. Oh, make it tight. Good. Start to feel it burn a little bit. 
It's not technically lifting heavy weights, but you're activating the muscles, and that's okay. Sometimes you just have to do what you can do. If you're at a hotel or somewhere where you don't have weights, so much better than doing nothing. 10 more seconds, tight, tight, tight. Now go back the other way. Five, four, three, two, and one. You did it. Work in the upper body, no equipment, and the core. We got a little bit in. Have a great day. See you in the next exercise snack. Bye. How'd you like that quick exercise snack? We're back home in sunny San Diego now. If you like that and you want a little bit more, how about my free Fit Over 50 Beginner 7 Day Challenge? I'm down here. I wanted to show you how to sign up. All you have to do is click the link in the description below and then scroll down. You can read all about it here and give me your name and your email. I will send you the link to this free challenge right away with some more information on how to best get started. But what it is, just real quick, is you're going to have access to seven of my favorite beginner over 50 workouts. Everything from a low impact cardio, a posture reset, beginner strength, even if you've got osteoporosis, full body foam roll and stretch, some beginning core and balance and de-stress. I think there's more than seven workouts there. I even give you a downloadable checklist because I don't know about you, but I like to check off when I get a workout done. I'll also be sending you an email every day with a little bit of motivation so you can get those workouts done, learn how to make exercise a habit, and learn the best way to exercise for us over 50 women. I hope you enjoy this. Remember, it's all free. If you liked that exercise snack, make sure you give me a thumbs up and give me a comment below what you like the most about it. And then don't forget to subscribe over there, wherever it is, <laughs> over there. Have a great day. Bye.